Binding your torrent client to your VPN is a super simple and super effective way to prevent your real IP address from leaking when you're torrenting. In the example, I'm using ProtonVPN as my VPN, although you can do this with, I believe, just about any VPN. And the torrent client I'm using is Qubit Torrent because they make it nice and easy. It's also a very safe torrent client, very effective. It's been my personal choice for a number of years now. So feel free to switch over to it if you're not using it or see if your torrent client at least allows what we're about to do. Now to begin, all you have to do with ProtonVPN or any VPN open is connect to a server, making sure, of course, that it's a VPN server that allows torrenting. ProtonVPN has a list of them that are optimized for torrenting, but uh, it'll let you do it on all of them. So we'll just quick connect. And it's going to jump us into our nearest server there, the United Kingdom. We are then going to open up Qubit Torrent, and we're going to go to the options in the little cog there. And then we're going to click on the advanced section with the little uh, spanner and hammer there. And then next to network interface, if we click the drop down menu, we will see Proton VPN there, which is what it'll look like when you are connected using WireGuard. I think if you're connected using OpenVPN, it'll say Proton VPN TUN, T U N. That's also fine. If you want to use OpenVPN, nothing wrong with that at all. Just know that it might look slightly different. And whatever VPN you're using, there should be a name in that list, something along those lines, the name of the VPN that you're using. So now in Qubit Torrent, we're going to add our torrent file to it and it'll begin downloading. Pretty straightforward, exactly the sort of behavior you'd expect. But what's interesting now is that if we disconnect from the VPN server, it will stop the torrent connection. The download will stop because your internet connection has been severed. In the BitTorrent client, don't be fooled, it looks like the download speed is like slowly ticking down. That's not really what's happening, it's just the way the, uh, the interface is expressing it. What's actually happened is your connection has been severed and the download is instantly stopped. And what's really cool about this is that now you don't have to connect to the same server again. It's nothing to do with your IP address. We can pick any other VPN server that is optimized for torrenting with ProtonVPN here. Pick a random nearby one. France is fine. And once we've connected to it, if we just pause our torrent and click resume again, it starts downloading again. And it's going to work like that every single time you start torrenting because as long as you leave that setting how it is, it's going to be bound to ProtonVPN or whatever your VPN of choice is. If you want to undo this, if you find it's a nuisance if it's slowing your speeds too much. Personally, I wouldn't recommend torrenting without it, of course, but if you do want to, all you've got to do is reverse the process. Go into the options menu of Qubit Torrent and then change the uh, network adapter back to any adapter. That's really all there is to it. It's so simple. It literally takes just a few clicks. You're done in less than a minute and you're all set up and protected. If you do have any questions, if anything's gone wrong, hopefully not, but if it has, leave me a comment in the section below and stay safe. I'll see you in the next video.